Hey guys, welcome back to So Back Sports, and I'm so back with another video. And when you think about Chicago Bears, the first thing that really comes to mind is the past and what has happened in the past a lot of defense and that's one of the reasons why we won a Super Bowl back in 1985 against the Patriots so where am I really getting at right now right now the Chicago Bears are in a unique situation where we need to find us an edge rusher and we've been speculating for the past like couple of months now of you know going out in the free agency and signing uh, an edge rusher like maybe Hassan Reddick or whatever, whoever is available. And right now we have a really deep draft that we have done, even though we only picked four players from it. And I think you kind of know where I'm going with this. And I believe that we have such promise with this player. And that is Austin Booker. If you guessed it, you know, congratulations, you win something, I don't know. But anyways, Austin Booker throughout this preseason has proven time and time again that he is going to be a force to reckon with down the line. And what better situation to be in and a coach that is defensive minded with a team that is like a bunch of ball hawks um, and having Montez sweat on the other side like to be able to develop will be pretty straightforward and I think that he's going to have a lot of promise going into the season let's take some looks at some stats real quick Austin Booker amongst rookie defensive ends minimum 20 pass rush attempts was 79.7 PFF grade which is first and then 75.9 pass rush grade which is fourth so this shows that he is really starting to put pressure on the quarterback. You can see right there, he had he just got straight to the quarterback. You can see right here, bang, easy. And, you know, you can see as well, like, he will get to the quarterback, which he he made a lot of moves yesterday too. Like, the tenacity, some, that's something that the Bear, Chicago Bears really, really need when it comes to, you know, getting to the quarterback, creating pressure, pressure which leads to turnovers. And... Having uh, him in the fifth round was a blessing in disguise. And you may be thinking, man, it's a fifth round pick. It may not even be anyone good, you know. It may be someone, which is pretty fair. You know, you don't see a lot of court uh, of not quarterbacks, uh, edge rushers in the fifth round do well. But a lot of the pretty really good ones are going to be like near the tail end of the draft. Um I think, for an example, Max Crosby wasn't necessarily that high. And he turned out to be really good, too. So, at the end of the day, it really depends on... Oh, and specifically, one thing I wanted to also mention is that the Chicago Bears added more depth to the edge rusher position by adding Daryl Taylor, who had six sacks, you know, ten sacks in 2022. The Seahawks released him, and he's been doing pretty decent. It's just that I don't think they were. he was developing at the rate that the Seahawks really wanted him. So this is really, really good depth for him uh, and for this Bears defense to, you know, elevate uh, Austin Booker. And maybe Austin Booker could be a starter in the near future this year. Let's take a look at his stats. With 12 games in Kansas uh, in 2023, he had 40 solo tackles, 16 assisted tackles, and 56 total tackles. And tackles for loss is 12.0. Like, this guy is a monster. And the fact that we got him that low in the, in the draft in the fifth round, 144th overall pick, highway robbery, as that tweet had said earlier. And let's look at his... Uh, Draft results or combine results, 6.3. Well, eventually a plus starter, which really solid like numbers coming out of this. And it's out of 8. 8 is, like as you can see right here, for those who don't know, um, 8 is a perfect prospect. So 6.3, really solid. And especially in the fifth round, love to see it. He has 6'4", 1.5 height, uh, and then wingspan, weight of a 240 pounds. He is very athletic. He will get to the quarterback. He's tenacious. That's all you really ask for for an edge rusher. And while this may be a quick video, I think that behind Montez Sweat, behind that defensive line, and you know Eric Washington, our defensive coordinator, who's uh, working in tandem with uh, Matt Eberflus, 
I think he's going to help develop him further and allow him to blossom, whether it's this year, next year, or the year after that, into the edge rusher that the Chicago Bears have needed to pair up with Montez Sweat. So, yeah, that's it for this video. It's just a little quick video to kind of go over my thoughts on Austin Booker as a prospect and the fact that a lot of people have been saying, like, you know, the Chicago Bears need edge rushers. Chicago Bears need to get an edge rusher fast because otherwise we're kind of screwed. We're an edge rusher away on our defense to be competing for a Super Bowl. And I agree to a certain extent because we need to be active in the market to eventually help Austin Booker and this defense really at the end of the day. Austin Booker developing is like a side quest in a sense for the future. But right now, I love where this direction is going for the Chicago Bears defense, uh, getting a stud like Booker that late. And the thing is, Ryan Poles and Hard Knocks really wanted Booker as well, and Booker fell to him, so he traded up to get him. And you love to see that, getting his guy, you know? And yeah, that's about it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to the channel. and really helps me create content like this for you guys. And more content like this is going to be out for the rest of the season. So feel free to subscribe and keep track of you know my thoughts and the Chicago Bears with me. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.